Good morning. We're here today to uh, meet and talk to a few of the key pastoral staff whose job it is to look after you. They're going to introduce themselves to you now. Hello, my name is uh, Mr. Peacock, and uh, although it's very unlikely you will see me in September, uh, my current position is deputy head teacher at the school. Good morning, Year Six. My name is Mrs. Milbourne, and I'm assistant head teacher here at Bluecoat School. Morning, in Year Six. My name is Miss Jones, and I'm head of Cabal House. Uh, good morning, Year Six. My name is Miss Dunder, and I am the head of Dorsey House. Good morning, Year Six. Uh, my name is Mrs. Zaran, and I am the head of Lewis House. Morning, Year Six. I am Mr. Thind, and I am the head of Parks House. Good morning, Year Six. I'm Miss Sheriff, and I'm the head of Wilberforce. Hello, Year Six. My name is Lou Pete, and I'm the chaplain at Blue Kate. So this morning we're going to uh, find out a little bit about the house system and we're going to meet our house heads. So I'm going to ask them some questions. So the first question, Mr. Peacock, is going to be to you. Um, tell us about the house system. What is the house system and why are they named as they are? Uh, the house system, yes. Well, we mix students up uh, in their tutor groups. We don't all just have students from one year group uh, in a tutor group. Uh, so when you arrive at Bluecoat, you will be mixing with older students and learning from their experiences and wisdom. And the five houses are all named after famous people who did great things when they were alive. Thank you very much. Miss Milbourne. Uh, Mr. Peacock kind of mentioned it. This idea of vertical tutoring, what does, what does that mean? So vertical tutoring is absolutely fantastic and it helps us to become more of a Bluecoat family. So in tutor time, you'll have your tutor and you will have year sevens, year eights, year nines, year tens, year elevens, all in one group. And that helps you to um, settle in. It may, you will have somebody of your own age group in there, your own year in there, so you've got a, a buddy. But it will help you because the other students can advise you on things that maybe you need some help with as you go through the school. Thank you very much. Um, so my next question is going to go to Miss Jones. So Miss Jones then, um, we've heard a little bit about the, the tutor system, the vertical system. So what do we actually do in tutor time? What's the point of it? Okay, so we have um, tutor time in the morning. Um, so it's a good, really good way um, to start your day um, with your tutor. Um, if there are any notices or anything that's important for you to know, um, your tutor will be the one to deliver those messages. Um, once a week, you will have an assembly. So within your house, um, you'll all go um, to the theatre. Um, you will also um, maybe have some sort of reflection of the week. So look at achievement points and really celebrate all the positive things you've done from the week before. Um, your house head might have um, a quiz or a challenge, um, something where you work together as a, as a form group. Um, and also we have something called worship works. So it's a really fun way to explore um, sort of different um, forms of worship. Um, obviously mainly Christianity is where a Christian school um, and really celebrating and looking at it, whether it's sort of music and art um, and having really good discussions. Um, so you'll get to know your form tutor really well. You'll have lots of time to interact with other people in your form. Um, and it's a really good way to start the day. Brilliant, thank you. So, Ms. Dander, what happens if, um, if you don't know anybody? You know, do we look after ourselves in our tutor groups? What happens if somebody comes on their own? If somebody comes on their own, which happens quite regularly, um, because we have so many different feeder schools coming in, um, all of our other students in each of the forms, they are there ready to help and support those children. So we make sure that all year groups mix together. So we will have year New Year 7s with year 8s, year 9s, year 10s, year 11s. And it means that they then have this provided group of people that are there, ready for them, to help them, to support them. We then make sure also that if there are other members of your family 
then we're all in the same house. So for example, there might be cousins and so on. Um, but we're also very aware of which school students have come from and we make sure that there is a familiar face um, just there for you so that you can meet them um, and your tutor will make sure that throughout the day you're fully supported and that you never feel like you're there on your own. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, Miss Iron, we've heard a little bit about the um, vertical tutor system and the tutors, the role of the tutors. Uh, what about yourselves? What's the house head and the assistant house head? What role do they have? Okay, so in every house, as Mr. Phipps has just said, you've got a head of house and an assistant head of house. We are in an office around school that we will obviously tell you where that is. We, for example, are in the library. Um, normally there is always one of us in the office if you need something or you're unsure about something just drop in at break time we are usually there there's normally a crowd of different people from different year groups um, and we are there to support you anything you need any concerns but we're also there to celebrate with you so if there's something you want to share with us uh, that you're really proud of or you're really happy about we're there to listen we're there to be part of your family at school brilliant thank you very much so, um, oh, Mr. Thind, Mr. Thind, what's, what do you think the advice is that you would give to one of our year six students then? I think the best thing to do as a year six student is to talk to as many people as possible. Talk to different teachers, talk to different members of your form, and you'll settle in very, very quickly. Bluecoat is a lovely school and everyone wants to look after you. And the sooner you make a few connections around the school, the sooner you'll feel at home. And if you feel at home, you'll enjoy learning. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And Miss Sheriff, what's the best thing about being a house head and being a member of a house? Um, the best thing about being a house head is, like Miss Aaron said, celebrating with the children when, you know, when you guys do something amazing, we're feeling it just as much as you. We're always so proud to hear like of all these positive things that you're able to do. Um, and we're always inspired as well. I think that's something we we, we never really mentioned, but you guys on a daily basis inspire and motivate us to do the best that we can. Um, and that's the best thing about, about the job. Um, the best thing about Wilberforce House, is that, can I answer that? Or is that, because the other, the other people haven't, but I'll mention it. The best thing about Wilberforce House is that we are a family and that we support each other. We win things. We, I'm, I'm going to stop. That's not fair. I'm sorry. I won't do that. <laughs> Everyone else is now nodding along going, no, that's, Cut back. that's Cut us back. as well. That's <laughs> us as well. Uh, thanks, Miss Sheriff. And finally, Lou, could you uh, tell us a little bit about assemblies? We've talked about that and the role of the chaplain and the chaplaincy within our school. So assemblies are an opportunity for us to come together as a whole house, normally once a week, and to collective worship. That means that whether you have a faith or whether you don't, it's an opportunity to be together to consider really important. And in assemblies, we have different speakers who come in, and you might see me, and they will offer all sorts of different stories and opportunities for us to reflect and to think what's really important. And my role as a chaplain is to be a faith representative in the school. I work alongside the pastoral team really closely and I have lots of different opportunities in the week that you can come and spend time with myself. And if you're having a really good time, then I'd love you to come and celebrate it with me. And if you're having a hard time, then come and tell me about it. And the chaplaincy is a place where you can go and to consider what's important, to settle your thoughts and to celebrate all the good things that are going on. Brilliant, thank you. I'm gonna ask everybody one more thing. I'd like please one word and one word only that you think sums up um, the best aspect of our school or your job. Okay, so one word only. Uh, we're gonna start with Mr. Peacock, uh, see if you can think of one, put you on the spot um, and we're gonna go around. Okay, respect, Mr. Phipps, respect. Miss Melbourne? Kindness. At me. Um, I would um, think about unity, everybody coming together and working as hard as we can, whether it's staff or pupils. Um, family, we are one family. Individuality, um, everyone's being celebrated for being who they are and loved for who they are. 
I would say the word faith, be it faith in God, faith in each other, faith in their teachers. But I think that hope pulls us through some difficult times. Um, love. I think there is so much love at Blue Coat School. It's something I'm immensely proud to be part of. I think my word would be hope. So hope in each other, hope in the amazing things that God has for us. Brilliant. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, it's been really great talking to you. Um, I hope that everybody, well, I'm sure everybody at home has found it really useful to um, hear a little bit about our house system and the importance of family and uh, belonging in our school. So thank you so much. Right, so we're going to have a quick game of um, whose house is this? So I'm going to name a fact from one of our five houses and then it's fastest finger first, so wave if you think you know the answer. Miss Milbourne is going to say who was first. You have the opportunity to give the answer as one of our house names and then we'll see who wins. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Who was born in 1759? Mr Peacock! <laughs> William Wilberforce. That is correct. Well done. Yeah, William Wilberforce, 1759. Um, which, who, which of our house people served in World War One? Miss Zaren. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct. There is a second answer if anybody wants to go for it. Mr. Thind. Is it Edith Cavill? It is Edith Cavill. Both of them served in World War One. Excellent. Uh, next question. Who was a professor at both Oxford and Cambridge Universities? Mr. Peacock, you were first. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct. Here's the next one. Who was secretary of a civil rights organisation? Mr. Thind. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is correct. She was indeed secretary of a civil rights organisation. What style of music did Thomas A. Dorsey play? Miss Dunder was uh, gospel and blues. That's correct. I just realised that was the wrong way around that question, but it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still a point anyway. Next question. Who worked in Brussels in Belgium? Miss Jones. Edith Cavill? Edith Cavill is correct. Well done. Um, who was... Who became a Christian at age 25? Miss Zaren. I think it's C.S. Lewis. Mm, it's not C.S. Lewis, wrong? I'm afraid. It's the Peacock. William, William Wilberforce. William Wilberforce is correct. Who sat on a bus? Miss Jones. Uh, was it Rosa Parks? Rosa Parks sat on a bus. Who fought, and we've kind of had this question already, so see who you can get in there. Who fought in the Battle of the Somme? Mr. Thind. C.S. Lewis? Correct. Mr. Thind is a history teacher, so uh, it's good to know that our history is in good hands. Who went to Cambridge University as a student? Mr. Peacock. If this is right, it's my third Wilberforce answer. It is your third <laughs> Wilberforce answer, Mr. Peacock. Very good. Where are Wilberforce? Who was a nurse? Miss Jones. Edith Cavill. Edith Cavill was a nurse. <laughs> Who wrote the screw tape letters? Miss Zaren. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct. Who did something significant in 1955? Ooh, Anyone gonna have a guess? Miss Jones. Is it Rosa Parks? It was Rosa Parks, 1955. That's when she sat on the bus. Who was known as Georgia Tom? 
Thomas Dorsey. Thomas Dorsey, indeed. We'll have a couple more questions. Let's have whose special day in the Church of England is the 12th of October? Miss Jones? Is it Edith Cavill? It is Edith Cavill. And the final question, who did Elvis Presley sing a song by? Miss Dunder? Thomas Dorsey. Thomas Dorsey is correct. There's some interesting facts there about our house heads. Well done, everybody. I think you've done very well. So uh, we'll uh, add up those scores and see how well we've done. But there's some facts about our houses, and I'm sure when our year sixes join us, they'll learn a lot more about how important our houses are to us. Thank you very much, everybody, for taking part. That was brilliant. And it's time to wave goodbye. So we'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Bye.